Guys, the suspense is killing me. My dog is right here, so if she starts barking, I'm sorry about that, uh, but she's a follower and not a leader. <laughs> when other dogs bark, she barks. So, the suspense is killing me. Who's going to win? Is it going to be Biden or is it going to be Trump? So, I prayed that it would be Trump. <laughs> we'll see. Whoever ends up being in charge, I'm going to pray for them to do a good job for the American people for, you know, everybody, not just certain people. I really don't want another Obama. That was pretty hard on us. So, um, I know Biden is slated to be just as bad, if not worse. And I believe he would be, but I also believe in the power of prayer. So we'll see about that. So I wanted to look at this a little bit. Let me see if I need to move this. Looks like I might need to move it. Yep. There it goes. Okay. So Fox News has a little ticker at the bottom. Let's see if I can get my cursor back over there. There it is. A little cursor, I'm sorry, a little ticker at the bottom that shows like who won where. And uh, you can watch it live, uh, what Biden has, what Trump has. So I don't know what's going on there. I've heard conflicting things about like uh, people's in Arizona, people's ballots were filled out with Sharpie, and it was a Sharpie they were handed by people who are working at the ballot box, which is illegal. So their votes didn't get counted. So I don't know what they're going to do with that, if anything, or if it's even true. It's just something I heard. I've also heard things like um, people's uh, mail-ins have been thrown away. I've seen several stories about that. I've heard stories saying that people wrote in, you know, they did what they did last election, which was they voted by mailing in and then they voted by going in also. So I'm hoping we have something for that that stops that, excuse me, from happening. I've got my tea here. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So what I am also interested in is in the Senate and the House uh, races. There weren't too many uh, states that had elections for this, but it looks like the Senate is tied neck and neck. So nothing much going to be happening in there, which I'm happy about because I think that our government passes too many laws and gets involved in too many things. So the more we can just lock it down and get it to not do anything for us, the better. I think local governments need to take more control over their areas, etc. like that. So I'm happy to see that. Makes me excited. So if the ticker will go. The House, on the other hand, has Democratic control still. As far as I'm concerned. Because 198 Democrats to 185 Republicans. That's just the Democrats would be able to push through anything that they do. Or that they want to. And especially nowadays when we have Republicans voting with Democrats. So it sounds like we got a bunch of rhinos we need to get rid of. Switch up. Locally, we had our election for Lindsey Graham versus... Uh, oh, what is this guy's name? He was all over YouTube for me. And he was like the only one, the only one I saw too. So I can't even remember him. Let's see if I can remember. I don't see if I can find it. Nope. These are governor elections. We didn't even have governor elections. Let's do a really quick search. Lindsey Graham versus. Let's see if we can find it. Jamie Harrison. There it is. Now I was not about to vote for Jamie Harrison. He is, he loves Hillary Clinton. He loves the current speaker in the house. He's all about um, socialism, so I was not about to elect him. But however, I didn't want to elect Lindsey Graham either, this dude right here, because he is just as bad to me. <clears throat> so let's see if this has any information we can look at. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, Lindsey Graham's also been in there since 2003, so it's time for him to go. Boop, boop, boop. It doesn't really have too much info as to who won. But it looks like Lindsey Graham again. 
I'm sad about that. I actually voted for a guy. Let me see if I can show you. It's a doctor. Oh no, I can't type. See if I got his name right. Yes, this third party candidate. Um, Bill Bledsoe, Dr. Bill Bledsoe. Um, so Jamie Harrison was putting out ads about how he's too conservative for South Carolina and he wanted absolutely no abortions, no uh, restrictions on gun laws and uh, something else. And I was like, I think I'm being trolled because that's my guy right there. <laughs> He is a uh, part of, he didn't run as a Republican or Democrat. He ran as something else. A uh, third, third party candidate featured statewide campaign. He dropped out of the race. Uh, he's a veterinarian. So I'm trying to figure out why. What he is. It's something called a constitutionalist, I think. And it doesn't say it in here. But anyway, I voted for him. According to what I heard on the radio, Lindsey Graham won. Uh, the other guy did not. And Bill Bledsoe got 1.6%. Uh, that makes me kind of sad because we need to start voting for other people other than just... Republican or Democrat. There are Green Party, there are Libertarian Party, there is this um, Constitutionalist Party or Constitutional Party, I can't remember exactly. But he got my vote because I'm tired of Lindsay and I definitely didn't want Jamie Harris. So there's that. Anytime somebody makes an ad saying this guy wants total constitutional <laughs> stuff, I'm like, okay, well... That's my guy. Let me move this over real quick. I'm sorry about this. I'm having to like kind of like move stuff over and everything just because everything, each, each page is different. So uh, let's see if maybe I can figure out who he is. The funny part about this though, is that when I went to go vote, this guy was on my ballot and he was supposed to stay on the ballot. But when my husband went to vote, he was no longer on there. So that's a little stinky to me. I mean, what if my husband wanted to vote for him? Why was he taken off? I don't understand. Constitution party. Here we go. This tells me a little bit more. Let's see. Ugh, Lindsey Graham. Let's see. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina is getting campaign support from a third party candidate, potentially bringing with him a narrow margin of conservative backers who would propel Graham over his Democratic challenger in a tightening race. Bill Bledsoe, who has been running as the Constitution Party candidate seeking to block Graham from a fourth term, dropped out to endorse Graham. I'm sorry he dropped out. I wish he would have stayed. I think more people would have voted for him, and I bet it was just because of the money. He didn't get his name out there. The only reason why I knew who he, he was running is because um, Jamie Harrison made a group of it was supposed to be slanderous <laughs> um, ads talking about how he doesn't want this, he doesn't want this, and all this, and how he's too conservative, so be careful about him, right? Knowing that it would probably pique the interest of somebody like me, and that I would go vote for him, and that would take away votes from Lindsey Graham. I made a mistake one year whenever I was voting, and there was somebody I wanted to vote for when Trump first came into office, I cannot remember his name. And I never can, and I don't know why. Let's see. He is the housing commission now. Huh. Let's see if I can spell. Ben Carson. Yes. Apparently some people doesn't think he should be in charge of that, but whatever. Let's see if they have Ben Carson, this guy. Oh, let me move it over. Sorry. So Ben Carson is actually the guy I wanted to vote for for president. This is a horrible picture of him, but oh well. 
uh, Ben Carson is actually the guy I wanted to vote for president. And instead of doing that, I voted for a different guy, not even Trump, because I wasn't even on the Trump train at the time. Um, <clears throat> but because I thought he wouldn't win. And I think that's a bad precedent to set for yourself. You need to just vote for who you want to. And if they don't make it, they don't make it. But at least you voted for what you wanted instead of what you thought everybody else would vote with you on. So, let's see. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is it looks like marijuana is gaining popularity, gaining, um, I don't know what you want to say, but three, looks like three. Let me see. Let me start at the top. Okay. Measures to legalize marijuana and magic shrooms passed even in some red states. Uh, do 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 to balance measures across the country. Okay. Among the most striking results came on drug legalization, some of which were on the ballot in red states. Four states appear to have voted legalized recreational marijuana, New Jersey's, Arizona, Montana, and South Dakota. I am not surprised by Arizona at all. When I was growing up, everybody and their mother smoked. <laughs> and if they didn't smoke, they grew it. And if they didn't do both, they were selling it. So it's everywhere out there. It's everywhere. Um, including these mushrooms. Montana, I'm not surprised by because they don't give a crap what you do, which is what I like. South Dakota, same, same. New Jersey, I'm kind of surprised at. But it's probably for the same reason Arizona is everywhere. Uh, let's see. Mississippi approved it with a prescription of 67 percent let's see two jurisdictions went even further and effectively decriminalized psilocybin or magic mushrooms oregon did so by 56 percent margin while washington dc did it with 76 oregon voted to decriminalize a variety of other drugs and use law enforcement savings to support addiction treatment and that passed with 59 percent of the vote so this is very similar to we're going back to the Victorian era right around the time of the fall of their, of their great empire, as they called it, where now we're legalizing things like, uh, we're legalizing these things, uh, pretty, and instead of putting people in jail, which they started to do, we're now doing things like, well, instead let's use the money to rehabilitate them. This is something they tried also. And what happened usually is that people were rehabilitated and they went right back to it. If somebody wants to do this, they want to do this. So I am not sure what I think about that. I don't care. I guess really I don't care if you want to do drugs. I don't think you should. I don't think it's a good idea. But at the same time, I'm sitting here drinking a sweet tea. Which has caffeine in it, which is just as bad. It can do as many harmful things to you. But just not as, I guess, obviously as some of these. Um, so, you know, I struggle with myself on this one. Because on the one hand, I really don't want somebody driving while high on mushrooms. So maybe the law should reflect that. But on the other hand, I don't really think you sitting in your living room, I don't really think it should be illegal for you to be high on mushrooms in your living room. Or like when people take ayahuasca, they go on to the... Um, reservations where it's legal because that's not America anymore and you can do things like that and uh, you are you know looked after basically so I don't know but that again is something that they had in the Victorian times where you could go into the opium dens and somebody would look after you not always nicely depending on how much you paid of course so I guess it just depends on what you want to do I really go back and forth on it, though. So, in Florida, voters backed a measure to phase in a minimum wage hike to $15. So, Florida's going to $15. And that's 61% of the vote. Colorado voters backed the creation of a family and medical leave system with 57% of the vote. Really? Well, I wonder what that's going to look like. Colorado voters also decisively rejected a measure that would have restricted abortion, though voters in more conservative Louisiana Approved one with 62% of the vote. Yay, Louisiana, what are you doing, Colorado? Voters in Colorado and Oregon approved tobacco tax hikes by two-third margins and a measure to raise Arizona's tax rate for wealthier residents in order to boost school funding was narrowly ahead. That I'm surprised by. 
Um, I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm from Arizona. And they're usually not for high taxes for anybody. Again, that was rural, rural well, I can't say that word, rural Arizona. So maybe Phoenix and the other cities have something to do with that. It looks like Illinois implemented a graduated income tax, but it was rejected. Good. I think. If that means what I think it means. So this means that uh, the income goes up for people as you make more money, then good. If it means that at first, well, no, good that it was re rejected either way. So in California, voters sided with rideshare and delivery companies against labor unions by yay. By supporting an industry-backed measure that would make it harder for drivers to claim full-time employee status, the measure passed 58% of the vote. California rejected a pro-rent control measure with 60% of the vote. What is that? A pro-rent control measure. I'll have to look that up. Oh, no, I know what that is. Okay. I'm surprised that was rejected. Nebraska overwhelmingly approved a cap on payday loan rates that I'm not surprised by at all. So there's a lot of stuff going on, more than just the presidential debate, duh, duh, more than just the presidential debates and voting and who's going to be our fearless leader. Um, <clears throat> I'm happy about some of the stuff I'm seeing and I'm not happy about other ones. I don't, abortion is like, to me, it's very cut and dry. That is a person, no matter how small, right? As they as they say, and uh, I don't. I'm not understanding why people just don't want to see that. Other than they just don't want to take their responsibility, or you know, I guess this really isn't an, abor an abortion video, so I won't get too into it. But I have seen videos where women were just like, up to 11 years old, I should be able to kill my kid. It shouldn't matter. I should just be able to do whatever I want. So there's that. <laughs> so back to the ticker. Looks like nothing's really changed. Let's see. Let's go over to the Senate. Yep, still 50-50. And, and everything is still sitting the same for a presidential thing. I heard on the radio while I was out getting some chores done that this could go into January because of some of the voting issues that have gone on. We'll see. I certainly hope not. I was hoping to wake up and see either Biden or Trump in the White House and have it done. But we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I got to find my cursor again. Sorry, things have been a bit disjointed. But how are you feeling? How are you doing? Are you watching it? Um, I'm at work. You know, I work nights, so... I don't get to watch it then and I have to do all of my chores and running around and everything during the day. So I try to pop in and out, listen to the radio, things like that. Have you seen anything untoward happen in your area? Uh, just let me know what's going on in different areas of the country. I'd love to hear about it. All right, guys. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Bye.